Yeah. What's up, guys? It's Fletcher, Seth, and Luke again, back with another episode of Pass the Milk. And today we're getting right seasonal upon you because it's that time of year again. Fall. Yeah, it's getting cooler out. Everybody's grabbing their hoodies and their mm -hmm. flannels. You know why we boots. call it fall, though, right? Because of the well, leaves. Yeah. Leaf fall down. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. That, that that's spring. True. That's true. Spring back up. And then you step on them and they got that crunch. Good crunch. Yeah, very mm -hmm. like one of those oddly satisfying things. Indubitably. No, but is it fall or autumn? Whoa! Yeah, okay. big controversy. Yeah, Depends on what I'm saying. Yeah, who are you talking to? So back to the cereal. Yeah. yeah. All right. So <laughs> today we are doing pumpkin spice frosted mini wheats. And I've got my two lovely pumpkins right here to try it with me. <laughs> if you guys haven't tried this before or don't know that it's out there, you do now. <laughs> Grab a spoon. Dropped on Amazon. <laughs> on October first. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We got it uh, exclusively. I don't know exclusive. how it was on the shelf already, but Donnie. we were fortunate enough yep. to find it. October second comes right, available on now. Amazon. Yes, please. You won't regret it. Give it a try. These two are first timers. Yeah, I've had it myself, and I'm super excited. I don't know why I'm putting that back. Yeah, we we ready to crack eat? it open. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do this. Gotta sell some of them bowls. Yeah. Without further ado, we're gonna fall right into this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, good work. Good work. work. <laughs> and we are equipped with the big spoons because if any of you uh, mini wheat eaters in the past know, you need a large spoon. Not one of the piddly ones, otherwise it's one mini wheat at a time. Mm, it'll take forever. <laughs> Got the family size box. Because we family. Wow, would you, would you look <laughs> at that frost right there onto something, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is fall in a bowl. Does it? That's fall right there. You can smell the spice. Go ahead and smell it, dry. Oh, yes. Can we do a dry taste? Dry run? Dry run? Yeah, first dry run? We usually don't do dry runs, do we? So, so let's let's put the frosted layer oh, on the top. I don't want them to get stale. Not, not, the, uh, not the wheat. Eight yeah. layers of wheat, one yeah. layer of sweet. I, I like to think of it as, as a uh, bedroom. As <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello! That's my love life. <laughs> Keep PG, guys. Come on. <laughs> I like to think of it as the... Uh, the mullet of cereal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, business in the front, party yeah. in the back. Because it's all frosting on the front and wheat on the back. Well, one dry run. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Right, cheers. It's That's like good. church. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Pumpkin. Mm. Pumpkin. Spicy. Oh. Yeah. Almost like Cinnamon. a pie. Cinnamon. Hold on. Wow. That is flavorful. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just excited. <laughs> I That's right, it's your first time. Yeah. yeah you guys I'm really looking video. forward to this milk afterwards. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, I think the uh, it's going to be like a cinnamon toast crunch milk. You know, yeah. Where it's just a little bit of orange in color. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Rock milk. Get everybody good and moist in there. This is very orange. Cool. And you got to think about it. Pumpkin is orange in color. Yeah. Sure. The cereal is made by Kellogg's. Yeah. Mm. Shout out. Yeah. One of the best out there. Mm. I would Beautiful. say thanks for hooking it up. Mm. But. Oil. Hmm. Nope. Take it away. Tastes like a pumpkin mini wheat. Yeah. yeah. It was very, very close to what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the nail right on the head. Yeah. <laughs> I do oh, like the spongy effect of the mini wheat. That eight layers, you can really get some milk in there. Mm -hmm. And then the frosting mm -hmm. eases its way into the milk as you're eating it. Probably leaving a very delicious flavored milk afterwards. I hope so. Well, I guess I'll start us off with some facts. Uh, mm -hmm. Mini wheats was first invented in 1969. Fun hmm. fact. There have been um, there have been 24 different flavors. There are 10 active, and 10 have been discontinued. Or as I was, 14 
have been discontinued. Mm -hmm. huh. yeah. I wonder what gets them just not selling, I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. Huh. The one that spoke out to me was Apple. I feel like that would have been an interesting, well, yeah. interesting mini week. Do you guys ever think about when this whole pumpkin spice craze ever started? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2003. You don't say. 2003. I think I that was... I uh, remember it like it was... 17, 17 years. years. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wee young man. <laughs> Big year, 2003. <laughs> I think I caught the flu that year. Anyway, well, <laughs> I think that was when Starbucks, is that the, the first pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, out of the uh, liquid lab in uh, Seattle. Oh, oh, all this earth is a liquid lab. Oh, wow. It's, uh, I guess that's where Starbucks uh, does a lot of their coffees, so all the purple oh. hair people can drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to BCU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blue BCU. Artsy. <laughs> Artsy. <laughs> Well, but Mini Week's tagline is uh, keeps them full, keeps them focused. So mm -hmm. you guys getting focused off this? I'm pretty focused. Yeah. It's game day. Focus on this bowl. Yeah, there you go. I'm feeling focused. I'm you ready. Guys, you remember that commercial with the little Mini Week guy going to school with the kid? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to love that commercial. He was like in their backpack. It would jump yeah. in the bowl. Yeah. I'm like, I wish I had a friend like that go to school with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> need to talk. <laughs> if you need to talk, go to Seattle. Well, the um, the first batch of pumpkin spice mini wheats hit the shelves in the fall of 2015. Sounds about right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of new to the scene. Yeah. Only, only five, five years. years. You know? And they're seasonal, so you can only get them fifth season, certain times. But um, it's funny, we call them mini wheats, but in the UK, they call them mini max. Mini max. Mini max. Mm -hmm. Mini max. Mm -hmm. <laughs> makes me think of Mad Max or something. Can you pass mini. the mini max? <laughs> and then in other some other European countries, they just call them tapas. Mm. Not to be confused with the appetizer. Exactly, yeah. Or a topaz. To you know, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not that. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I like when I put it in my mouth and it's frosted side down, mm -hmm. so it hits my tongue That's first. That's the best. Mm. That's when the flavor really shines. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of flavor, um, the people who invented the pumpkin flavor, it's a company called McCormick. Most likely, if you were to go to your spice cabinet in your mm -hmm. kitchen right now, you will have some McCormick seasoning in they there. They make my pepper. Oh, yeah. 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 Black pepper. They, uh, they invented the pumpkin flavor in 1934. It's a mixture of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and all spice. No pumpkin. No pumpkin, no pumpkin whatsoever. You can probably these make pumpkin. pumpkin spice in your kitchen right now. These McCorm McCormick people are playing God. <laughs> <laughs> Could you uh, hand me in? another bowl? <laughs> Round two. Uh -huh. All right. Now, well, I don't know if you guys knew. Mini wheats are not indigenous to the U.S. of A. Where are they from? These these little bundles of fun <laughs> are Canadian, eh? Oh, hey. these are imported. Wow. Oh, yeah, straight from Canada, Ontario, I believe. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, they made up for it with these after creating those terrible geese. Mm. Yeah, those geese. <laughs> they, they think, think they, they own the place. place. Yeah, <laughs> I think they run the joint, don't they? It is Canadian geese season too. You see a lot more of them. Uh, now. You know, I just realized the other day, Canadian geese—they don't fly any further south than South Carolina. Really? Not that that's relevant to the pumpkin spice, <laughs> but I'm just saying. I thought it was it's relevant to Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And these mini wins are relevant to Canada. You think hockey players eat these before a big game? I'd like to think so. Yeah, I can just see the Toronto Maple Leafs just <laughs> downing a box of Look at the milk. Wins. Yeah. Look at the milk. It's got little bits of swirls, orange frosting swirls in it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to drink that. Really quite aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, we have the word of the day. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. What is the word of the day, Seth? <clears throat> word of the day. Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. A cultivar 
<laughs> a cultivar huh? of winter <laughs> seasoning. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a hard word to say, but yeah, cultivar. You know, it might be tough to get out, but it's smooth on the tongue right now. So it's, it's a and rib. Yeah, yeah. It's a form of <laughs> squash. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And, believe it or not, the pumpkin is actually from Mexico. Mexico. Mm -hmm. Northeast Mexico. Look, this is a very diverse meal we're having yeah. right now. The entire western hemisphere yeah. of the world in one bowl. Mm -hmm. Way to go, North America. <laughs> We stay winning. <laughs> we done it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you guys think? Well, I like it. Texture. You know, mouthfeel. The texture of it is nice because it kind of unravels just a little bit, mm -hmm. but not too much. Right. Like I was saying, the, the milk gets between the weaves. Mm -hmm. All eight layers are creates that soft, spongy uh -huh. kind of feel. Yeah. If SpongeBob was covered in pumpkin spice, I think it would be similar to this. Don't do that to SpongeBob. <laughs> that was a <laughs> <laughs> too far. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, seven for texture. Mm -hmm. Seven bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and do six because wow, guys, my my <laughs> my problem is they yeah. break up if it sits too long, and yeah. then you just end up with a whole bunch of just moist, yeah, strands. I I I personally like that. I'm gonna go with a nine. Wow, yeah, nine, nine bowls for texture for me and mouthfeel. I don't know why it's that spongy feeling yeah. with the frosting still intact on top. Then you get the milk in there. Nine for me. What about uh, taste, overall taste? Now that, I, th I think that's where it really shines. Yeah, yeah for sure. I'm, I'm yeah. getting a lot of pumpkin yeah. on the palate. Mm -hmm. A lot of cinnamon. Mm. You, can, you can really taste all those seasonings. I think bonfires and flannels when I when I eat this cereal. It I've is, never eaten a flannel. It is cuffing season. <laughs> it is. So, not only get you someone a cuff, but get you a box well, of this yeah. pumpkin spice mini weeds. Mm -hmm. First date food, maybe? <laughs> Morning after bowl. Morning bed. after bowl. <laughs> hey. You don't have to make a mean cereal to have some pumpkin spice mini weeds. Yeah. But for, for taste, I'd give, these, I'd give these a nine. Nine? Nine. Nine. Yeah. Nine. nine. 27 out of 30. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, well a, that's another... That's a... Second that's our one. highest rated so that's far. Our wow. High. wow, the pumpkin spice. I got bit by a mosquito. Mm. Um, As you can see, everyone, we're in the great outdoors today. I hope no. you can hear nature. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's a bug of something. Just nature nurture. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Seth Surf Shack. <laughs> well, um, what else, what else do we like about it overall, I guess, I'd, over onto now? I would eat another, as I have, I've you eaten a second eat another <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'd have another one as well. Yeah. But, I mean, well. you know, pumpkin spice is a seasonal item. It'll be here from, what would you guys say, mid, mid-September, mid-November? I don't yeah, know about the cereal, but you'll see, to Christmas, you'll, think, you'll see coffees and candles and other shit like that, but, mm -hmm. uh, while this is on shelves, I'd, I'd recommend you grab a box. Yeah. Please do. Please do. It's seasonal, so we encourage don't forget. It. Yeah. You will fall in love with it. Oh. <laughs> you cheesy. <so> much. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you guys think overall? Overall, what do you, how do you do? I'm going to go nine. Nine. Overall. Mm -hmm. Nine overall. I'm doing an eight just because. Okay. That seems yeah. it's, it, it would seem improper to me to do a, a six and a nine and somehow come up with Those an are overall two of my nine. favorite numbers. Put them together. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the old yin yang. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this seasonal episode of Pass the Milk. Please like, follow, share, subscribe, subscribe, comment, comment. Tell, like us, tell us what to do next. What so, cereal do you like next? Throughout this week, on our story, we will post a question 
and we will ask what flavor you are wanting for us to try out next week. As we are gaining followers, we are gaining interest, uh -huh. and we want to hear from the people. Yes. So, please respond to said question when you see it this following week. And if we start to see a trend, and you know, say it's Frosted Flakes or there's five Apple Jacks, you know, we we'll, we're going to try and go off what you guys want to see. Yeah. And do this with us if you. Yeah. Yeah. Grab a bowl. Yeah. We'll we'll let you know partway through the week what we've decided on. Yeah. And, um, and you can match, you if you can, will. You can bring a bowl to the party virtually. The world of cereal can be so fun. It's just waiting to be explored. Yeah. I feel like... Join us. Yeah. On, our <laughs> on this <laughs> cereal journey. <laughs> <laughs> Across the Mid-Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> All of North the America. Santa Maria. The <laughs> Santa Maria. <laughs> Less of racism, but Christopher Columbus died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're All right, gonna end on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.